Mm. Hi, housemates. How'd you sleep last night? Oh, good. That's great to hear. Well, you are currently in our kitchen. So, uh, snacks are available and everything's here for you to have. It's all yours. We all share this thing together. So, as promised, I'm going to show you around. And I'm so excited for you guys to see everything. Ready? Oh, and for our new housemates, welcome to the Paint and Fools Paint House. Uh, this is a space where you are going to uncover your creative genius. I have so many different tutorials and tips and techniques just for you. Uh, but we have something very special, a very special ability that I'm going to teach you guys how to make your work come to life. So let's come on and explore. So what I'm doing right now is I'm showing everyone else around. So feel free to join. Come on, let's go. So you've already seen our living room, which is great, right? And you've already seen our kitchen, but let's go into the backyard, okay? Ready? Oh, and welcome to our backyard. So this backyard is for all of us. I crafted it up just for you guys. We're gonna have barbecues and lemonade and all that good stuff. But this isn't the special thing about this backyard, guys. Turn around. Yes, our tree house. Guys, that tree house is going to be our hub center for all of our missions. Before we go on all of our adventures, we can meet in the tree house. Got it? Good. Okay, so let's come back inside. You know, I forgot to ask you guys if you needed any tea or something like that. Yeah? You want some tea? Okay, give me one second. Um, I don't know if I, if I have any extra tea cups. It's sometimes, I tend to forget that I have guests coming over and I don't necessarily stock up on things like I need to. Um, so forgive me. But wait. I have a solution. Yes. Yes. Do you know what this is? Oh, I didn't tell you, did I? Okay. Well, this is what makes my house on the block the most special house out of all my neighbors. Because this brush, and you're all getting one too. This brush is our magic brush. And with our magic brush, Anything we paint comes to life. Yeah, how about that? Isn't that interesting? So we'll never be without. Why? Because we can make it. So, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go make you a coffee mug, and I'm gonna get you guys settled, and I'm gonna get you some tea, okay? All right, come on, let's go to the studio. Housemates, housemates, what's up? We are back in the studio, okay. So you know we have our two brushes now. We have our magical brush, our magical flat, we're gonna call that right now. We have our magical one inch flat, and then we have our 12 round. Do you remember from Panda? Yeah, so we have those two brushes. We have our canvas or your surface, whichever you have. And then we have our three colors. So in this case, I have blue, white, and black. So I'm going to help you paint you guys a mug so that you have your own personal mug you can carry it around in, inside of our house, you know? I think it would be great for us to kind of have our own personalized mugs. And I think you would enjoy your tea in them too, you know? So, now you remember from our first lesson, we wanna lay in our background color using some vertical up and down. Vertical means up and down brush strokes to fill in the background. If you have a blow dryer or something to help speed up the drying process, feel free to grab that and then we're going to work upon layers. So we're starting from background to foreground, and then we finish off, and then I'm gonna teach you that very special technique I mentioned earlier that's gonna help bring your mug to life. You guys ready? And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get these bristles a little wet. We're gonna dip that in our water, just, you know, just you know, just, just a couple, of, not even a half an inch of the, of the bristles a little wet, right? Okay, and we're gonna just get some of this blue. Now remember, up and down with brush strokes, like this. Remember? Good. Now, again, so I use nine by 12 canvases and you can feel free to uh, get 
a frame for them. You know, some stores are slowly opening up. So if you have the free time and your, your parents or guardians are, you know, looking to really help foster your creativity, let them know you can get a frame for this at any of your local craft stores even. Um, some stores are offering currently uh, like, what is it called? This, it's like um, like curbside pickup. And with that curbside pickup, it allows you to order your items on the like online and then you can pick them up without having to have any direct store contact. So you know if you're, if your guardians are listening right now, make sure you let them know that. So guardians, you listening? You know, make sure that you, uh, if you know, if you want to do that, get some frames, nine by 12, you can, or you can, whatever like size surface that you have, you can, um, you can get a frame for that. The average like standard frame is like 11 by 14 or, you know, like eight by 11, things like that. See, now this color, now you remember how in our previous painting of Panda, we had to apply a second layer and that was because that second coating would help to cover a lot of the white in this canvas, cover the, you know, to cover that white from showing beneath. Now, this blue is very pigmented, meaning it has a lot of blue in there. So you won't need to paint many layers of blue this time. So this layer is enough, but if you wanted to paint an additional layer, you would then get your trusty blow dryer, apply that dryer, over here and then you would just come right back over that again with your blue. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this up a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and then I might, I don't know, I think I might do another layer, it depends, but hmm, maybe, um, maybe not. But I'm gonna come back and we're gonna get started on creating our mug, okay, ready? All right guys, I'm back, so I think I'm gonna add another layer of blue, you know. I think maybe we should make that a practice. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I kind of like making sure that that um, that white doesn't show beneath it because once I add, once we add our mugs, you know, it's really going to stand out. So let's let's kind of do that. Let's make our second layer and cover, and cover that. Uh, that canvas. Yeah, and I think I could also use up some of this extra paint. I think I gave myself too much paint, guys. So I want to kind of make sure I use that up. I don't want to waste any paint, you know. And, um, you know, I have so much of this gorgeous, gorgeous blues just sitting and drying up, you know. So I'm going to use, use it all up and be resourceful and economic. And I'm going to paint it all here and don't forget guys if you would like to paint the sides of your canvas all right all right drawing again and then i'll be back all right guys we're back so what we're going to do next is we're going to make like a little a, a somewhat of like a slight surface we're going to um allow our coffee mug to rest on you know so we're going to leave that that blue and our bristles here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull a little bit of white. You see? You wanna leave that in just like that. You can kind of just like make a little separate space off to the side and kind of like mix that in there, like in your brush. You can just kind of leave it in there. And then we're gonna locate, we're gonna say just about maybe from the bottom and guardians and parents help them out. We're going to say about uh, roughly four inches from the bottom of the canvas is where we're going to start. So here, we're going to take our brush and we're going to go vertical. Remember vertical, I mean, I'm sorry, horizontal. Horizontal is side to side and vertical is up and down. So we're going to take our brush and we're going to hold it to where our bristles are flat like this. Okay, so you hold them where your bristles are flat. We're going to take that and we're going to go straight across so press in like that and go straight across. A good tip. So if you want more control over, over your brush, um, and this, is, this might help you when you get a little older, but if you kind of, if you hold your brush far away, if you hold it closer to the handle 
of the brush, you realize you have more control over how much, over how stable your brush stroke will be. So the farther you hold it, you place it on your spot and you'll be using more of your shoulder to guide your fingers along the way like that. So that will really help you have a st nice straight, the straightest line you can possibly have, okay? So with this color, now we're going to, we're gonna paint this in side to side. So we're gonna do some, some more brush strokes, some horizontal brush strokes, but we want our brush to face this way. So we want your brush to face, to, uh, you want our brush to face this direction here. So like this, not, not flat like this, but you want your brush to face up and down like that. And we're gonna just paint that going straight down with the rest of the canvas. Just like that. Now, if you run out of paint, feel free. If your paint's too, if your paint's too tough or too thick, you can take a little bit of water. You can loosen that up just a little bit, and and then paint that across. Fill that in just a little more, like that. So that's going to be your your background, just like that. All right. That's going to be the surface of where our mug is going to sit. Just like that, okay? Now let's dry this thing. Okay guys, so now that we have our background and then we have our, our, our surface down for our mug, what we're going to do next is we're gonna take this brush, we're gonna rinse this out. Wanna, you know how we rinse it out before. You can take your brush and dip it inside of your cup and spin it clockwise or counterclockwise. You make your little vortex. Be very, very gentle. Very, very gentle when you stir when you're stirring and cleaning out your brush because you don't want to spill your water and get your paint water everywhere. But you also want to keep in mind to take care of your tools. Remember, these are going to last you a very long time. And this is how we use our creative abilities to make whatever it is that we want. So we keep our tools in great condition. We'll always be ready to create whatever we need. Okay, remember to just take that excess paint out of there. You let it dry, wipe it out on your apron even, or your, your uh, paper towel if you have one. And now we're going to start with our next brush, our 12 round, okay? Okay. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to actually sketch or draw out the outline of our mug first. And the reason why we're going to do that is it helps us lay in the rest of the color. So if we figure out how we wanna sketch it, like in sketching means to lightly draw it, if you figure that out, then you'll know in the future, okay, so if I sketch it out here, I know exactly where I'm gonna add the rest of the color. And also, if you mess up, because those sketch lines are so thin and so small, you can easily go over it. Or you can just paint it over with this blue color, this background color, and cover it. So it kind of protects you from making mistakes, okay? All right, so we're gonna do first, we're gonna just get some water in there. All right, and now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we have we want to make sure that the water is is in that bris in the bristles, and we want to pull some of that white on the on the brush. Now, if, if you notice that the water or the paint is um, like baby blue, that's even better because it's kind of closer to blue, so it will blend in if we make a mistake. And you can always just cover it or take like a um, like a wet washcloth and gently just kind of wipe it away. Okay, so we're gonna make our mug about this big. Okay, and about this tall, okay? So about this wide and this tall. So we're gonna say this is going to be roughly, let's say about four to four and a half inches wide. And we're going to say just about four and a half to five inches high. So here's what I'm gonna recommend that you do. We can start from the side. Now, if you're if you're right-handed, I would start on like on the left side of your canvas and make your to make like this the left side of your cup. 
And if you're left-handed, you can start on the right side of your canvas. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm actually, I can use both left and right. I'm going to use my right hand and I'm going to just start here. So what you do, you take your brush, go down like that, and come up like this. So this is your outline for your mug. Okay. That's going to be the outline. All right. Now we're going to have to close our mug off so that it really show, shows the shape of that coffee mug. So what we do, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of like make like a little hill. We're gonna connect like a bridge. We're gonna connect these two just like a bridge, okay? So you're gonna make your first bridge here, and then we have to make another bridge beneath it like that, okay? We're gonna do our second bridge. Just like that, okay? So this is the outline of our mug. I'm gonna just kind of get some more of that white on there. And now we're gonna do the handle. So remember, if you're left-handed, whatever side you feel most comfortable using your, putting your um, your handle for, the, for your mug, go right ahead. So on the left side, take your brush. And that's it, very simple. like that. Now, the fun part begins. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in just this spot here. All of this open space, we're going to take our brush and we're going to just fill that in very carefully, stay, staying in the lines as carefully as possible. And feel free to kind of add some more water in there to loosen up that paint and just continue to fill in your mug. Reload your brush. And we stop here. Just like that. Look at that. Now we have our mug. Okay, now if you wanted to kind of come back and make, kind of like go back over the bridge again, just gently if you wanted to, feel free to do that. You definitely can. So there's your mug. Now, we've made the mug, right? But the magic part I have to show you, how we make our things come to life is through a certain thing that we have to do. So, here we go. You can kind of rinse that out a little bit. Okay, now we want to add just a little bit more kind of like, we want to kind of make this somewhat empty looking. So this is why we have the black. So if we fill in this space with some gray, this will make the, the mug appear to be empty. So you want to take some white. And remember, when you're mixing colors, you always want to add your you start with your lightest color first and then add little gradual pieces of the darker color with it that will save you time it will also save you paint and you can also kind of judge how much of the other color you can add to create the color you're looking for so remember that you add dark to light when mixing colors 
So you wanna have this, this gray here and we're gonna fill this in Fill this space in here. Okay. There you go. Now, if you want to be a little adventurous and you want to make your mug look a bit more 3D, you can take some of this gray and you can kind of you can paint that here on the handle, like that. See? You can paint some on the sides while this is still a little wet. You can bring it down here, like that. That's how you make things look a little more realistic. Okay, now on to the magic. You guys ready? All right, let's go back to the living room. I have something to show you. Okay, housemates. So here's the moment of truth. Remember how I told you that you can make anything that you create come to life? Now it's time. So here's how we're gonna do this. You're gonna hold your canvas up like this and then we're going to shake it side to side. And we're going to shake it side to side until it comes out. You ready? One, two, three! Uh, hey guys, I'm Monkey and I'm proud to be of service to you. I will make sure to hold all your beverages as long as you take care of me. And I'm looking forward to being of service to you. So hold out your hand. I'm coming in. Looking forward to a nice cup of tea. Well, now so many people make teas differently. I have a tea in a bag and you would simply, what's called you steep the tea inside of your mug with water. So. I'm gonna provide that to you if you like, or if your guardians have another kind of tea. Enjoy it. Here we go. <laughs> well, housemates, it has been a pleasure again going to the studio with you and learning our special technique, which makes us extremely unique and different. We can create whatever it is that we want, as long as we have the tools to do it. And you can see it in your mind and make it happen, make it real. Isn't that amazing? Well. I'm going to the woods in just a second to get some time to relax a little bit and think about some new ideas for you guys. You can feel free to join me if you like. Uh, I sit in the woods to kind of recharge and just, just clear my mind. So if you want to come with me, come right ahead. And um, I'll see you next time if you aren't. So until such time, guys, it has been a pleasure, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>